Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm gonna try to do this without glasses, but if I, okay. Um, I went out yesterday with uh, Dr. Slayman, Hanan, and Sister Joy. She's not here today, and Sister Hanan, but uh, the experience to me was, at first, a little apprehensive about going. It's always going to happen every time you're called to do something, what the Lord calls us to do. We get kind of nervous, but once you take that step, once you get there, you realize you've been blessed. And I was blessed yesterday for going out yesterday. And um, uh, today, I... Uh, stumbled across uh, Dr. Stan, uh, Charles Stanley, who's uh, with In Touch Ministries, and uh, the question is, why should we take part in communion? And it goes, Jesus' last meal with his disciples took place during a t uh, celebration of Passover, giving them bread. He said, take it, this is my body. Next, offering wine, he shared from a cup. He told them, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant for which pour, is poured out for the many of, for the forgiveness of sins. That's from Matthew 26, uh, 26 through 28. Believers today observe the Last Supper as a symbol of cleansing, consecration, and communion. Jesus' blood cleanses us of sin, starting with Adam and Eve. God required the blood of sacrifice over uh, to cover our transgressions back in Genesis 3, uh, 21 and Leviticus 17, 11. But it was just a temporary, a temporary solution as the next offense required another sacrifice. Jesus was God's permanent answer to the problem. He took it upon himself, all sins, past, present, and future, and died uh, to pay the full penalty. Okay, coming to consecrated. When a believer receives salvation, he is consecrated. That means set apart to the Lord. His sins is for er, his sin is forgiven, and he receives eternal life. As well uh, as well as the uh, indwelling of the Holy Spirit but if at times he forgets that he belongs to the Lord he may give uh, into temptation the bread in the cup provides an opportunity to remember what the father has ex expects from his children and to renew one's commitment to obey the last part is the communion the Lord's Supper is also a time to commune we have connected not only with the Lord who saved us, but also with the past and the present believers. Among uh, many, I mean, excuse me, among members of God's family, we find comfort and support, just as the disciples did in the early church. The Lord's Supper is a good time to stop and recall what Jesus has done, uh, Jesus has given us. Let's take part solemnly and gratefully so at this time, just take a moment while you're sitting in your chairs just to reflect on uh, what the Lord's uh, blood means to you and um, just to pour all your uh, confessions to him right now. So 